Hey y'all. Welcome to lunch hour. I went to Zaxby's, which I love dearly. I got me a large ice water. The lighting in here is bright, isn't it? Sorry about that. I've been working my butt off all morning long and it's 1.40 and I was like, and it's freezing in my office and I was like, mama's gotta go. I'm cold and I'm hungry. So, I, it's 91 degrees here, which I absolutely love. Um, inside my office, it's like 65, which I hate. Um, anyway, I've been driving around with the windows up and just being warm in my Jeep and I'm finally warm so I've uh, got warm so I kicked my AC on a little bit. So anyway, um, I came to Zaxby's to get their Cobb salad um, but I ordered it without the chicken because I'm, like, I'm kind of on chicken burnout. But look how pretty this is. Can you see it? Ah, oh, there we go. It's got eggs and tomato, cucumber cheese, two big fat pieces of Texas toast, a um, little bit of bacon, and uh, I'm hungry. So I've kind of fallen off of my water intake. Um, you know, I was doing a gallon of water, and although I was still drinking a lot of water, I wasn't doing my gallon because I'm so freaking busy. Which is fine, I love, but I have to I have to stop what I'm doing and drink 16 ounces of water, get busy again, stop, drink another 16 ounces of water. And uh, so now that I'm getting my feet under me and things are, you know, I know what I'm doing and I'm getting more of a rhythm. Um, I, f I don't feel like I'm rushing so much, so I'm watching my water intake and I'm tracking it on my fitness pal. Um, and I haven't been tracking my food either, so now that um, I'm getting my life together, <laughs> things are slowing down a hair, and I'm going to start tracking my food and my water again, and uh, just to kind of see what, how much I've been putting in my body, so. Um, if you guys have a Zaxby's in your town, I highly recommend it. It's delicioso. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And usually I'm the last one to go to lunch. The maintenance side, they go to lunch whenever. They have their own schedule, but the office staff, we kind of try to stagger it so there's always somebody in the office. There has to be somebody in the office so I'm like you girls go do your thing and I'll go after you because I've got 900 things to do before lunch anyway so I want to give a huge shout out huge congratulations to coupon and girl Miss Stephanie, I am so proud of you for going and getting your certified nursing assist assistant. Um, that's an amazing field. I was a CNA for seven years when I was, um, I was a little bit, I was in my 20s, so I was a little bit younger than you are now. I was, I was 23, 24, it was in my mid-20s. And I was a CNA for about seven years, and I worked at the hospital and I did some home health and I got more satisfaction out of that job than any other job I've ever had in my whole life. You're gonna love it. You have the heart for it. You've got a servant's heart and you're already falling in love with the people when you were doing your clinicals you said in your video so I just want to say congratulations and girl you know what that next step is. You go get that RN Go get your CNA and then go get that RN. Go all the way. And I'm going to try not to cry, but I'm so proud of you. And you did this for yourself. And you needed this for yourself. 
and I think you are amazing and I'm so proud of you and don't stop there keep going keep going you would make an amazing registered nurse I just know you would you'd make amazing whatever you do but don't stop at CNA keep going so if you guys see her you watch her virtual high five tell her congratulations way to go you know her road has not been easy and for her to be able to reach out and get something for herself so proud of you girl so proud of you you did it I'm just excited that's awesome that's awesome Let's see. We were going to go to Cabo in July. Trip to Mexico got canceled. I was talking to Suzanne Light last night about it. She and I were texting. Guy, girl, it was what, like 10.30 at night? We were texting. Um, it was a whole situation to where Shane's mom bought the trip for us, and she bought a package, and you had to book your trip within a certain amount of time. And I guess she didn't book it in a certain amount of time and they could either refund her money or reschedule it for next year and she just said refund my money and so I don't know what it is I didn't get involved with all that part all I know is she's like sorry guys the trips canceled and I was like you would think I'd be incredibly bummed but I was kind of like okay <laughs> I am NOT upset at all we'll go some other time and my life has been so crazy busy that it's not it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. So, um, Shane and I um, are going to make a little, you know how we like our little weekend trips. So, we're going to do, um, I'm going to take him to Eureka Springs. I say take him because his Father's Day is coming up and um, his birthday in August. So, we'll just zip on down to Eureka Springs for the weekend, two or three days. And then... Um, um, Alex, my oldest, also has a birthday um, this weekend. He's going to be 23. My little tiny baby boy is 23. So, this weekend, we're going to take him out. He wanted to go eat at a place called Kilkenny's. It's Irish-Scottish food, and he loves it. Both my boys love it. So Wyatt's here for a week or two, and he wanted to make sure he was here for his brother's birthday, and we're going to celebrate that this weekend. This salad's really good. all that's been going on in my life. Work, kids. Clean the house. Get out on the golf course every now and then. Lori, I just love my hand towels. They're so cute. And um, Suzanne Light was kind enough to let me know in her video that I butchered your na the name of the town you live in in New York. <laughs> she pronounced it the, the right way. Like in my video, I don't even know how I pronounced your town. But Suzanne was like, Amy butchered it. Away girl butchered it. <laughs> and I started laughing because I was like... Because when Suzanne said the name of your hometown the correct way, I was like, oh, that's not even close to what I was trying to say. So, I'm sorry I butchered it. Suzanne, thank you for pointing that out. And I don't, I'm not even going to try to say it. Not even going to try. How's the weather up there, by the way? What's the weather like in New York where you're at in, in June? Speaking of, can you believe we're halfway through June? 
two and a half months, so that's eight. It's like 11 or 12 things, or 11 or 12 weeks. It's gonna be all things pumpkin spice again already. All things pumpkin spice in about 12 weeks already. Everybody's gonna be getting out their fall decor. Look, I'm still trying to get some sun on my skin. I'm still trying to get some sunshine. But in Oklahoma, the first day of fall doesn't mean the weather says first day of fall. It stays warm here all the way through November. So we don't really get winter until December, January. It'll stay warm all the way through November. So that's fine with me. I love that it's 90 degrees outside. So it feels good to sit in my warm Jeep and eat and just get my life together. I hope everybody's doing awesome. I've been slowly but surely been trying to catch up with videos. So um, and catch up with my own comments on my videos. So I'm getting back into it, kids. I'm getting back into the groove of things. Get back, see my face on YouTube anymore, or more so than I have been. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. I'm going, let's make it simple. I'm going to try to make more videos. <laughs> now that my life has calmed down, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to try to catch up on your videos. And I'm going to leave comments and I'm going to respond to your comments. Oh, I can't even talk. I hope you guys have a Zaxby's in your town because this is so good. Okay. We're at 12 minutes. I gotta go. I'm gonna finish my lunch. I will catch up with y'all in the next video. I love you. The Lord loves you more. He loves you so much you can't even wrap your head around it. Meditate on that today. Meditate on it. How much he loves you. He loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son to hang on the cross and die for you. There is no greater love. Focus on that. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all.